Guys, we're back. That's okay. That's the sound of flavor. All right, welcome to episode two. So we're making some beautiful short ribs. We're gonna braise them in a nice spicy broth with some dried chilies and then throw them in some tortillas and fry those up into some like taquito style things, flautas, whatever you wanna call them. This is the thing I made on TikTok last week. I know I said I was gonna make a lamb burger, but I lied and I'm sorry, I feel bad about it because you guys are my friends and you're really nice to me, but we're making something very special instead. Fuck, man. We're at my mom's house right now. That's where it all started. By the way, we don't have a name for the show yet, so if you guys want to toss out some ideas for what we should call this, uh, throw them in the comments, and the top comment will name the show permanently, even if it's something really naughty and mean. Don't hold me to that. Anyway, let's get started. Basically, they're like deep fried mini tacos, and they're fucking amazing. Start by seasoning your short ribs up, heavily salt and pepper on all sides. Somebody commented um, they want me to handle them like I handle my meat. But in the last video, I beat up my meat with a toaster. Toaster! I don't care. <laughs> What's that all about? <laughs> I used um, Salt Hank's Flaky Salt, available at salthank.com, and fresh cracked pepper. I'm excited you guys are here. This has always been my dream. I've always wanted to have a YouTube channel since I was like a 14 year old kid. And uh, for it to be centered around food was like just the ideal goal. And now you guys, there's 6,000 of you that are just waiting for my next video to come out. That's all you're doing. You're not even going to school or work. You're just sitting at your computers waiting for me to drop another fucking video. Thank you. <laughs> right, that's how I picture it. I know that's not the case, but for those 6,000 of you that have already clicked that button, I fucking love you. And I cannot wait to bring you the best goddamn content this world has ever seen. <laughs> I know the colors got kind of fucked up on our last video, but that's not gonna happen again because we fixed it. <laughs> it's gonna be like a episode of, um, what's that shitty old show? <laughs> the one where they live on like a grass hill and it's, um, they're like monsters. Teletubbies. <laughs> All right, so these are ready to sear off in our Le Creuset. Now we gotta chop up some veggies. We got some vine ripe tomatoes. So we're using like three small to medium ones of these. Just beautiful. We're gonna dice our onion up. Nice rough dice. Oh man, I'm so happy we're doing this. Guys, I fucking love you. And I'm just stoked to have the opportunity to cook with my friends from the internet. I wanna feed the world with these tacos, so bring them home. Cook them for your family, for your friends. Whoever, I don't care. So we're gonna slice up some garlic, yum yum. But then we're also just gonna use the whole bulb, so. Chop up a couple of these, nice and thin. And then we're gonna chop the head off the bulb and throw that whole thing in. Add some nice flavor. Okay, let's get to searing off this meat, man. We got like three short ribs cut in half, so six short, short ribs, and they're going in the Dutch oven. And then you let those brace for like three hours. And during that time, me and my videographer, Jimmy, are gonna watch a movie. I watched Point Break last night, so I'm in a great mood today. We're gonna sear off these short ribs, so. High, high heat, medium high heat. Get some neutral oil, I got avocado oil. Let that come up very, very hot. Very smoking, smoking hot. Short ribs go in. Into your oil. Oh, I love that noise. Flame on. I know people say don't crowd the pan, but we kinda gotta, cause we have a lot. This is a dream come true. I really couldn't be happier. It's cause of you guys. It's right here. This is where you guys are for me. Right in my fucking heart, this is just a big, big party going on in there with all of my 6,000 subscribers. And for all the people out there that are just joining, welcome, welcome to the, welcome to the heart party. <laughs> it's gonna be a fun one. And bring your swimsuits, cause we're going hot tubbing later. <laughs> so let these sear for like three minutes per side. Get a, a hard, hard crust on them. These are probably ready to flip. Nope, not. It's my short rib dance. That's ready to go. Perfect brown crust, and then you just flip it. We seared the shit out of those short ribs. And you want them that seared, you gotta lock in that flavor. Lock in all those juices, get as much color as you can on them until they start to really char. You can pull your meat now, all done. Get your heat down to like medium, medium, low, and your onions are ready to go in. Deglaze with onions. Scrape all those black bits off the bottom. Those brown piece of fawn. Get your sliced garlic and put that in as well. 
We have like a whole white onion and like four or five cloves of garlic in here right now. So we got some chiles de arbol going in. Fill up your pot with tomatoes and onions and peppers. Those peppers are gonna start to toast and bring a ton of flavor to the party. And then once they rehydrate in the pan, everything kind of just falls apart. It's like a spicy consomme a little bit. So pretty similar actually. Our final thing is tomatoes. So yeah, just let all this cook together, get the flavors combined and incorporated, let them get to know each other. God, I can't get point break out of my head. But once the tomatoes are nice and squishy and just falling apart, so we got like eight cups of beef stock going in. And then short ribs go back in. So let this come to a boil, turn the heat down a little bit, throw the top on and let that braise for like three hours, three and a half hours even. Oh, almost forgot, our bulb of garlic. Final thing, don't throw it. Just place it in there. This is coming to a boil, a little bit of salt. We turn the heat down, let it simmer for like three hours, three and a half hours or so, until the meat starts to really fall off the bone and you can basically pull it apart with a fork. In the meantime, we're gonna make some guacamole, some salsa. I'll see you on the other side of this. All right, we're making a very basic salsa. So we're gonna start by browning up the onions and the tomatillos and the tomatoes. So just get the tips off. We're gonna keep half of this to blend at the end, just adds another layer of flavor. The raw onion mixed with like the sauteed onion. So perfect. So keep half for later. Chop this one into thirds. Slice your tomatoes up as well. Two small serrano peppers. Just cut those in half. These pack a punch. So all this is going in the pan. See you there. Heat your pan to like medium heat, oil goes in. It's already smoking, so that's hot. So we got our garlic, our onions, and our serrano peppers. Listen to that fucking sizzle. Immediately, tomatoes and tomatillos. Oh, it's kind of spicy in my throat. Some salt goes in. So these don't need a ton of time. Just let them kind of blister and start to brown. And then we're gonna throw some uh, water in there. And then we're gonna put the top on, let it cook for like five, 10 minutes. And then we're throwing them in the blender. People are sick of the fucking lamb burger. I've already done it. I did it on Tamron Hall. Nobody wants that shit again. We might do it next week though, so stay tuned. So we've already picked up some color on the tomatillos. Tomatoes are starting to get brown as well. Splash of water. So this serves two purposes. It'll deglaze the bottom of the pan and get all the fond off from all these veggies and it'll also help them cook through. So it's gonna steam with the lid on and these are gonna be good to go in the blender after about five or 10 minutes. So water goes in, lid goes on, and we just let that cook for a little while. Oh, that's beautiful. Little pinch of dried oregano. Once the water starts to like completely cook down until it's nice and like syrupy on the bottom, you can throw it in the blender. And that's why we do it, baby. Salsa's ready to go. We got the garlic cloves, the raw onion. We got some cilantro back there and then we got our fried up ingredients. So I'm gonna thinly slice this onion and then the two cloves of garlic as well, raw. All right, let's bring this over here to the blender. Make sure all the liquid and the fawn from the bottom of the pan gets included as well. Cause that's all flavor, baby. Nice handful of cilantro into the blender. All right, salsa's done. Into the bowl. Oh, that's the best salsa I've ever had. Okay, moving on. The guacamole is not super traditional. It's four ingredients. It's garlic, it's lime, it's avocado, and it's salt. And that's basically it, but God damn it, just try it. Three avocados, cut in half, crack them open, uh, get the pit out, slice your avocado into cubes, just like that. Scoop it out. We're gonna have like four cloves of garlic. Just smash these. A little bit of flaky salt on top of the garlic. Chop it up nice and fine and smash it on your cutting board till it's like a nice kind of ground up paste almost. That's ready to go into the guac. Lime wedge. Pick a nice squishy lime or else you're not gonna get a lot of juice out of it. There we go. Smash it up. Guacamole's done. It's been enough of this. It's time to make some short rib tacos. Short ribs are probably done. 
Oh, baby. Oh my god. That gives me the chills. Goosebumps. Am I right, guys? Bullies? Can't even fucking find the bone for this one. Oh, buddy. Holy crap. I just want to be in a sauna of short rib steam. You know, my um, senior superlative in high school was most likely to smell like meat. Short ribs are shredded. Shh, don't tell mama, just a little spoonful. <laughs> it's very hot. Okay, let's make tacos. So these don't break while you're rolling them up. Uh, about two inches of oil. Dip them in the hot oil just for like a, literally a second. Pull them out, don't let them fry for too long and they'll be nice and malleable. We got our nice flaccid taco shells. We got our filling. You can fill it to your heart's desire because the taco shells won't break. We got some Mexican cheese blend right here. Stuff that in there. Party pack, multicolored toothpicks, adorable. Why get one color when you can get multi? Just stab it through. Boom, there's your taco. That's ready to fry. There it is. It's dripping, oh. It's got that nice savory flavor that you're looking for in a taco. <laughs> Boom, taco number six. These are ready to fucking go. So we're gonna fry these up, get the oil ripping hot. Um, they're only gonna fry for like three minutes. You just wanna get the outside brown. We have a whole plate of ready to fry tacos here. Look at these beautiful fucking tacos. Oh, I could eat these raw, I mean, this is fucking amazing. I'm so excited. Here we go. You hear that? These are gonna fry, they're gonna bubble and pop and uh, make all kinds of noise and really start to explode a little bit. That was like 30 seconds and as you can see the outside is nice and like browned and honestly that's perfect because you don't want the inside to cook too much. All the cheese will melt and fall out and you don't want that. All right, these are done. Whoa! Oh shit! They're sizzling. Ooh We're gonna dice up some onion. Beautiful diced onion right on there. Got some cilantro as well. Boom. Remove the toothpicks and make a nice taco pyramid. Try and lather these without having the taco pyramid fall. Look at that, big guacamole volcano. Salsa spilling over, god damn. Some crema. A little bit of cilantro to top it off. Big chunk of lime now. Oh. There it is, that's what we're fucking looking for. This gigantic pile of tacos. We got our beautiful like soupy, spicy broth, consomme style. We got our fucking amazing crunchy tacos. Can't wait for you to get a crisp on those. Time to eat. All right, I'm gonna dig in. Taco number one. <laughs> oh my God, so good. All right, let's see if we can get it. A cheese pull out of here. Oh, little one. I know it wasn't lamb burger, but these came out very nice, and I encourage you to make them at home. Gosh darn it, they are good. <laughs> Stay tuned, because every Wednesday we're gonna drop another one of these recipes. We're gonna keep building, keep getting better. Let me know. Anything you didn't enjoy about this, pop it in the comments. I'll listen and I'll stop doing it, because this is for you guys, and I care so much about your opinions. I'm insecure and who knows if I'm doing anything right. So just comment what you hate about me and I'll stop it. If you don't like my pinky finger, oh, it's coming off. Full recipe will be on saltink.com. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all. Uh, you can also buy these flaky salts on saltink.com. So go check that out. Thanks for watching the video. I'll see you guys next time. Every Wednesday, tune in, hit that subscribe button, smash that shit. Uh, let's go.